Hi and welcome our doll BFFs. Welcome to our channel, Nene and Sophia. Um, we're coming to you on a lovely summer day. Well, it's kind of hot. Yeah. And it was kind of rainy, but we still think it's lovely. <laughs> and we're blessed to have a summer vacation day and so thankful to have you join us here. And to talk about some Barbies. Yay! <laughs> Yay! And we went uh, earlier today and we went to see the movie Garfield. And it was pretty good. And we are going to be working on a little video. Um, some of you guys showed interest in <laughs> seeing the baby goats and Socks the kitten. So they are pretty cute. They are pretty cute. And um, so we're going to work on a little video to um, show you that this week, mm -hmm. too. But um, what we have ready for today is some dolls that I've been wanting to open and get on the shelf and unbox. And so we thought we would have you join us for that. Um, these dolls are part of the classic um, collection. They seem so and, pretty. Yeah, and very pretty, pretty fancy. Um, uh, there's an old um, sticker on here that's from Toys R Us. So that's been a little while ago. And it says that one of these dolls was like $54. And I, I didn't pay that much for it now. So... I feel like you can, some of these you can, if you watch um, and kind of look at the thrift places, but also like eBay and stuff, some of them you can get a pretty good deal. You know what? I was kind of pondering um, Barbie yesterday, and I was thinking that, that, you know, some of the dolls that we've been finding up in the mm -hmm. attic. Yeah. Um, how they have the pretty ball gowns and they have the pretty earrings and the jewelry True. and stuff. Um, kind of comparing that to some of today's Barbies. And I... They were I, fancy. I, I, they were fancy. I need to slow down on some of my fashionistas, but I really do like some of them. And I don't like the fact that they don't have articulation, but they're like $10.99. I mean, they're, mm -hmm. they're cheaper dolls. And, and then we have the ones that I can find on Mattel Creations, yeah. like the blue sapphire that was $75, or the um, the ones that are reproduction dolls that, you know, are anywhere like between like $50 and $150 for some of the Mattel Creation dolls. And I thought, I wonder what in this day and age, like I'm thinking some of the dolls from the 80s and 90s that we keep finding up in the attic yeah. are like used to be like in between you know they weren't just your basic basic they were yeah a little fancier what would like a $30 doll like if there was a $30 Barbie at Walmart or Target like what would that look like in this day and age it seems like we have them that are like $10.99 mm -hmm. or we have them that are $50. Like what would a middle of the road Barbie be like? And I'm not mm -hmm. talking about a fashionista that's basic, basic in a play set. I mean, just a Barbie in a box that was like 30 bucks. Yeah. Like, you know, could we come up with something that's a little bit, I guess, you know, like the Christmas Barbie, but we only get her like at Christmas and she's $30, $35. I was just kind of kind of thinking that over and, yeah. you know, kind of getting these out and um, kind of thinking about, you know, what what would be um, a doll that would sell in the store? I don't know. Just something to ponder. So we have three dolls in this um, classy collection and they actually list on the box who the designer was, which I guess was kind of a a newer thing for Mattel when this was happening, you know, to let people know who the design was by. And the first one we're going to look at is, you want to tell us? Opening Night Barbie. Opening Night Barbie. She looks so cute. She looks like something that would, like, be in a Barbie prom I movie. do, I do like the, um, I do like the art yeah. on the box. I wonder what she actually looks like. And this one was by Janet Goldblatt. Um, it says the second Mattel designer collection, and this is from 1993. Oh. And so, and these do say, um, for collectors age 14 and over, 
So but, I don't think they were your play line, like just yeah. to take out in the yard and play with kind of thing, you know. Um, oh, yeah. No. But these were um, more... You're making this kind of difficult. Shelf. Well, that's kind of stuck. More shelf Barbies. Mm. But it does have a box that just actually opens up. And she was kind of loosey-goosey in this <gasps> box. She's so cute! <laughs> I got her, I think, maybe from, like, eBay. Um, so she was not connected to her box anymore. Their she has her box. Are so fabulous from back in the day. Why can't they continue with that nowadays? Um, I don't know. They did were kind of fabulous. They they looked like Their they were plastic, were but they look like metal and they've got shiny rings. It's not just that, oh my gosh. I love the about ball gowns from back in the days. Well, and I think a lot of people do. A lot of people like the big gowns. It has the um, the like saddle, oops, the saddle uh, stand, and it actually says "Opening Night Barbie," which this was. These are pretty nice. I didn't think about this, but some of the snap knees and snap knees, click and click knees. I didn't think about this, but some of these stands that I've been buying just from Timu, or you can get them in Amazon. Somebody mentioned this the other day on Instagram. They have these like little kind of like hooks hooks here yeah like little um yeah pieces here on the the end and i just never really paid much attention to them but somebody said you know you can make like little labels for your dolls like little cards and slide in there and i just wasn't I even noticing those really um to be honest and i was like yes you can and so for some of the new fashionistas that have the little art okay. bless you dear thank you um you could slide a little card in there Maybe, I you know, that. print one or do all kinds of stuff, love things it. with those. So, yeah. So, it kind of reminded me of that with this label on here. So, this is, what what is she? Opening night? Let's yeah. just take a, she, she has, has a few things in her. Room. Yeah, she's she's that got should. some, some, some box here. She's but been she's in a box so for a cute, long time. But she has real eyelashes. She has molded eyelashes. You mean real? Uh, molded. <laughs> Yes, rooted <laughs> eyelashes, sorry. Rooted eyelashes. I'm like, and... do you mean like it's painted on or like <laughs> no. it's stick hard? Yeah, they're rooted in. <laughs> and uh, like a really, I'd say that's like almost black It's like hair. a hook. That's like so She's realistic. Some tissue paper or something stuck in her hair. Oh, How the you beads? like hook it in the back. It the does. Hooks. It has. That's like so realistic. The eye and hook closures here in the back. And then it's got some little beads. I don't know if you can see little beads that run down the back. Oh, some sequins. Um, she does have like some little built-in panties under her skirt. And the matching pink shoes, beads down the front. Very, very colorful. She has shoes. And sparkly. That I feel like would go to Barbie prom. That girl would go to Barbie prom. She's in pretty good shape. She just needs her and a pretty pink lip. She just needs her um, hair kind of fixed up. Okay, this so, one is um, Uptown Chic. Uptown Chic. And well, let's show them the box first. And you can see down here at the bottom, it says uh, Katie Perkins. It's got her signature on it. And it says 1994. Does that say 94 down there? 1994. Uh-huh. And um, it has Kitty's picture on the back. Beautiful sketch on that the front. That girl is beautiful in here. <laughs> um, and on the back it said, and, and you know that tomorrow they're having the um, black. Netflix um, documentary on Black Barbie. And Kitty Perkins is the one that designed Black Barbie. Oh. Yeah, so this is kind of cool that we're opening this today. I know you're anxious to open that. Yeah. And it has look some how, Look how pretty. Her. I love it. Oh. And it has writing. Oh, it did. It's got writing. It has rooted eyelashes. Rooted eyelashes. And it, it says, I know. <laughs> I was correcting myself. Kind of a uh, uh, faux leather outfit. I'm, and it doesn't look like it's peeling, thank goodness, because I've been struggling with that. 
said Barbie paints the town pretty. She sports white pencil leg pants of leather look vinyl and matching peplum top. Gold toned buttons have real snaps underneath. She covers up in a swinging trapeze coat with lacy sleeves and rhinestone studded lapel. Ooh, nice. Fashion goes to her head with faux pearl earrings. Necklace lacy hat, um, short platinum hairstyle, and rooted eyelashes too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's... Um, I like the doll. I don't know how I feel about the outfit though. Like it has like a skirty vibe, but then it has some pants underneath. Well, I, um, this is but... from 1994 though. Yeah. Okay, we got her out of the box. You want to hold her up close and so everybody can see the... Um, Sequins so, or rhinestones? Rhinestones. Rhinestones there. And the lace. And then the back is a bit peely and it got some pink from the back of the box. Uh, I see some peeling on our pants too. It didn't look oh. like it. It's kind of like one of those things like you touch it and it all starts to kind of come apart. I'm going to I'm gonna try first since it's not bad. To spray. I, I've been trying to do different things with this faux leather stuff that's been peeling. Um, I'm going to try to spray that one with Armor All and see if I can kind of keep it from peeling, but I don't know. I've got this dress that I've had sitting here for a while, and you see all the peeling coming off of that. Ooh, so what I've been so doing... Ah, darn it. I've been trying to use some of the glossy Mod Podge and kind of painting over it and holding it in Mod place. Podge. Yeah, but you can see on the back, it's got a little faded from the box. And some and peeling. And it also got to the neck. But this jacket um, comes off. Oh my goodness, but look at like, like what you were saying, the jewelry. Look at those pearl earrings there. I understand that you might want to like keep them in and stuff, but still. And the necklace yeah, it has it's got some in the back, gold. So it doesn't really move much. What? Like. Oh yeah, it's still got some, some tape on it. But I mean, what a, what a neat style and how pretty. 10 out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> you really like that one. Okay, now this one, um, I don't know if you've if you have, hold, hold on there, spark plug. We, we want to kind of read what the box is. I don't know if you've read the book by Carol Spencer, uh, but it was, uh, I just really enjoyed reading it. And she designed this one for this uh, classic collection. Benefit Ball. Yes. And in 1992, and so when I was reading her book and I saw it, I was like, oh, I'd like to, to get that. And then when I s kept looking at some of these different ones, um, there's also fashion that kind of goes with this line. Um, so it was just very, I um, thought they were all very pretty. And I think I actually got this one on um, Goodwill. Um, shop Goodwill online. We'll have to get her out. We'll have to get her out. Yeah, Let's show her in the box first. And so, like I said, this one is Benefit Ball. Ginger. <laughs> and she has red hair, which I, I love that, you know, we have different hair colors on these gals. Okay, we got her all out. Um, she does have, of, of course, some box hair, but she was all still um in the box and you know like fastened in the box and you know these dolls in the 90s used to have these wires on them um and not very many of the tea ties which was it doesn't really take as long and she still had her little brochure so like i said i have been looking for some of the fashion in this set um so that's kind of cool that that's in there she has, and I took off the thing that holds the necklace in place. Look at that pretty necklace. Oh my goodness. And her blue eyes. And she's got these gold necklace or, or earrings. I'm sorry. These gold earrings. Um, and <laughs> Sophia was saying, well, I'm not too sure about like all of this, which I think that this actually can be removed. 
um, this piece, but I said, you know, in the 90s, that, that was the thing. We had the big, and more puff up here, the better. And, oh, she also has on a gold ring. Fancy. And these, um, kind of gloves here, and this kind of side train. And she has on like a blue tight. And she has both of her shoes, but one of them just fell under the table. Not under the table. So, I think went back to the dolls. I was like, um, no, I'm going to sell So that might table. take a minute. Mm -hmm. So, um, benefit ball. Yes, you may see something. And it zips. <gasps> oh my gosh. Haven't seen a zipper for a while in any it of It said in the booklet. That's how I said it. <laughs> Been a while since we saw some zippers. Oh, Although Carol a, Spencer attached. worked for Mattel and designed their her clothes when they had Spencer's Look. zippers. Let's hold them all up here. Which one's your favorite? And which one was this? This was the opening night. Yep. Opening which night. one's your favorite? I think the benefit ball. I really like this uptown chic. I'm I'm kind of stressing out over all of her peeling though, which is something with this faux leather. Um, I hate that that's happening. I think she's awful cute, but I don't know the yeah. the jewelry here and the zipper. And I always mm -hmm. I don't know why I used to always pick the redhead dolls. <laughs> I didn't have red hair, well, but would you give these dolls out of ten? Oh, I think I would definitely give them a ten out of ten. Nine point five. 9.5. Yeah. Um, knowing that, like, if we, these are, these are 90s styles. Oh, yeah. You know, so if it were the 90s, yeah, I think they would get a 10 because I like the sparkle. I like the, yeah, the beautiful jewelry that they come with. And I like the fact that the designers had their names on the box. Like, we yeah. know, like, who made these and we didn't used to know that back back in the day yeah. so kind of their own take on what they wanted to design and i think that that's kind of cool yeah okay well we do have some fashion that goes in um this classic um era so we'll be bringing a video with some of those fashion yes. that are pretty cool and um but today we we're just showing you these dolls and um i think that that's all right for today yeah. so thank you for joining us thank you for taking your time um if you you know you know the drill if you watch youtube please like comment share and subscribe it Don't really helps our, ring the bell. helps our channel doesn't it <laughs> and um keep in mind that no matter how many trips you've taken around the sun take time to play and have some fun too and until next time this, this has been Nene. this has been sophia see, see ya, ya.